Hello everybody, welcome to my Stargate Collection Part 4. I can already hear some people say, finally, she's making it. But I'm sorry, but because of work and bad lighting, I didn't have the time to make this video yet. And I hope with all the lights on that you can see this video properly. Um, first off, I want to show you guys uh, a part of my new action figure collection. It's getting a little dark, but I will try to get a little closer. As you can see here, I finally got Dr. Keller. I've got a Wraith fighter. Over here we have Ronan. I don't know if you can see it. I hope so. Uh, Taylor, Rodney, and Shepard in the drone chair. I think that's very cool. So I hope to be expanding this action figure collection. Well, we are going to the other side of the room now. And because I'm going to tell you a little bit about a guy I met on the internet, his name is Jeroen. He was getting rid of his Stargate collection, and uh, well, his Egyptian collection, but there was Stargate in it. And as you can see here, these are some figurines I bought from him. It's I will turn it upside down. This is a figure from Anubis from the Stargate movie, a figurine from Ra from the Stargate movie. And Horus. They're very detailed and very cool. I hope I'll be able to make a movie soon where I can show them better to you. Maybe make some pictures. And there are also some mugs here. Also with Anubis face, Ra, and Horus. And um, because of the space problem I have in my room, we're now gonna I'm gonna escort you guys to my guest bedroom which is supposed to be a guest bedroom, but it now turned into a room for me, for my collection. As you can see, I have a lot of DVDs, so I had a big space problem. And I'm going to show you guys over here some other stuff I bought from your room. This is a big figurine from Raw. I hope you can see it. It's um, a model you can build yourself. They also painted it, and I'm very disappointed to see that I can't show you guys this properly. And look at the detail on this. Maybe I can zoom in on the face. As you can see, it's very cool. I don't think that I would have been able to build this. And then over here, uh, this binder contains German magazines, because in Germany, they, for every Stargate episode, they have a special magazine which uh, shows everything um, that's uh, on that episode, cities, names, uh, characters, everything. And they have, for every episode there is, they have um, one magazine. That's so cool. So here are a lot of them. But here I have, if you can see, number 23 through 62, which is the last one. So, also very cool. And now, something I'm very proud of. I'm going to get it into the light. It is a watch from Stargate, as you can see here. And the cool thing is, uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand. When you open the iris, look at here, you see the time. As you can see, a very cool watch, but it's very heavy. So I don't wear it wet very often because I'm scared or afraid to lose it. But it's a very cool part of my collection on this nice pillow. So we're going to move back to the table. And let's see, what do we have here? I also have a little raw figurine here, also bought from Jeroen. It's also a model you can build yourself and paint yourself, but it's a lot lighter than the other one. So I'm going to try to build this myself once because I've also gotten a box from him with my own raw to build, as you can hear, but I haven't had the guts to do it yet. So, um, Another thing I wanted to show you guys are some comic books. I will also try and get them into the light. So, um, I've gotten a new, few new comic books, but the cool thing is, not only the cool drawings, but 
A few of them contain a certificate of authenticity. This one, for example, only has, let's see, 500 copies printed. So that makes them very special. So I'm very proud of that. And here are, is another one, as you can see. Also all bought from Jeroen. So I'm very happy I bought whole office stuff. Then over here, we something I was trying to get for quite a while now, but I didn't couldn't find it in Holland. It's a Stargate game, a board game actually, and it's very complicated. You really have to find someone to play it with. This is the board you play with. It's a sort of um, you have to conquer uh, parts of the galaxy. You have to put on um, this board tiny ships. I don't know if you can see. But these are tiny ships. And you even have tiny little goulds. I don't know if you can see it. Tiny little goulds. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I'm learning. Here's something else. It's the soundtrack from the Stargate movie. And the funny thing about this one is, is the CD is shaped like a pyramid. That's funny, right? But it works and music is cool. And then uh, something else I bought from your room is this uh, German book. It's about Egypt and um, everything um, uh, that's uh, on Stargate about Egypt and if it's true or not. And cool book. I have to catch up on my German to read it all. And this book, Approaching the Possible, The World of Stargate SG-1. Such a nice book. It has interviews with the cast members. It's about the science of the show, about the episodes. I recommend it. If you find it, buy it. Then, um, two other things. I have a little figurine here, also from Raw. I will drag it into the light once more. Let's see. It's a fig figurine, but it's also a tiny box. I think that's so funny. I've collected my perfume samples in there, as you can see. But um, it's a nice addition to the collection. Looks very nice. And then the last thing, um, I didn't buy this from Jeroen, but I got this recently. It's a picture of Tori Higginson. I will turn it around. I think you can see it now. And it has her autograph on it. So, this is a really nice piece to my collection. I will hang this between Bow Bridges and the picture of Kate Hewitt. So, I'm glad to say I have another autograph of my favorite uh, characters. And, uh, well, that's all I have to show you guys for now. I've been rambling on for eight minutes. I hope you guys um, have seen all of my stuff, all, uh, also because the lights are so bad. I will try to make some pictures soon and post them so you can get some details of my stuff. And please let me know what you guys think because every YouTube fan is important to me. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.